Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's video is on React Navigation. Like most of you know, React Navigation can be used to navigate between screens in our React Native app. However, React Navigation provides us with three navigators to navigate between our app. One is the Tab Navigator, one is the Stack Navigator, and one is the Draw Navigator. In this video, I'll show you what is the normal way of structuring your app using these three navigators in combination with each other. So here in front of us, we have our first main screen which has two options. One is the login and one is the sign up button. If you click on sign up, it'll take you to the sign up screen. Clicking on the login button will obviously take you to the login screen. Here, once the user enters the details, it will usually click on complete login, which takes the user to a dashboard over here, which not only has a tab navigator at the bottom, but also has a draw navigator on the top, which can be opened by this button. Also, this draw navigator is common to all the tabs. Clicking on the logout button will take the user back to the main screen. Once you have this strong navigation flow set up, you can build any app on top of this. So let's begin. So here in front of me, I have an empty React Native project that I created with Expo. We'll start by installing React Navigation. So open up the terminal and type npm install React Navigation, but we'll install a particular version of it. That version is 1.0.0 beta 11. I saw some errors with the latest version coming up while I was trying to record this. This is one version I know that works. You could just try the latest one and it might just work for you. Once that's done, there are times when you'll get an error, which is a red screen. For that, just run npm install again to get rid of that error. And then just restart your project and you should be good to go. So starting with our first screen in app.js, we'll first create a stack navigator. So on top here, let's import the stack navigator. This will be the main navigator of our app. So here we'll say const stack navigator. Actually, let's call it app stack navigator is equal to a new stack navigator, which will have a first screen, which will be the welcome screen. And the screen that it points to will also be welcome screen. It's easier this way to just name the screen the same as the route. The next screen is going to be a login screen, which points to the login screen again. And similarly, we have a sign up screen that points to the sign up screen. So let's quickly set these up. We'll first create a new folder called screens. And inside that, we'll create the three files. First one is welcome screen.js, login screen.js, and sign up screen.js. I'll just import some boilerplate code here. All it does is just returns the name of the screen. I'll post a link in the description on how to get this auto-generated snippet for you. Once these, these screens are created, come back to the app.js and let's import them in. And here we're just gonna have to name this login screen for a typo. So now our app stack navigator is set up. We want this to be our root navigator. So here let's get rid of this view and let's pass in the app stack navigator here. This will make the welcome screen the first screen. There we see it. So let's come to the welcome screen. The welcome screen is where we'll have the login and sign up buttons. So let's just import button here from the top. Get rid of this text and put in the button. The first one will be the login button. And the second one will be the sign up button. And they have to have a on press on it. This will point to the login screen. And this will point to the sign up screen. On our welcome screen, we obviously don't want a header. So let's get rid of that header by saying static navigation options is equal to header of none. There we see our header is gone. Let's click on the login button. It takes us to the login screen. Here we do want to have a header so that the user can click back and go back. Similarly, on the sign up screen, we'll also have the header which allows the user to go back. So in our login screen, now let's put in another button which takes us to our dashboard. So come to the login screen. And here, let's import button in again. I'll just copy this one. And we'll say complete login. 
And as of now, we don't have that screen set up, so it doesn't know where to go. So here from the login screen, we want the user to go to the screen which has the tab navigators and the draw navigator. So that means we need to have a draw navigator as one of our screens of our stack navigator. So let's create the draw navigator. Inside our screens folder, let's create a new file. Call that draw navigator. So let's import in some boilerplate code as always. Here, let's call this app draw navigator. Let's import in draw navigator here. Also, let's get rid of this class as we don't need it. Let's create a const app draw navigator, which is equal to a new draw navigator with the first screen called home screen and it'll point to the home screen. So let's create this file inside screens. Let's create home screen.js and let's import home screen inside our draw navigator. So import home screen from home screen. Now in app.js, let's pass in the draw navigator as one of our screens of our stack navigator. So we'll say import draw navigator from screens draw navigator. And here let's put in draw navigator. Also now inside that login screen, we know where to go. So let's change login screen to draw navigator. Now let's test this out. Clicking on login, complete login takes us to the home screen. So though our navigation is working, there are a few bugs we need to fix. Firstly, swiping should only bring up the draw navigator and not take the user back to the previous screen. So for that, in our main stack navigator, let's put in some navigation options. Put in a comma here and say navigation options. And we'll say gestures enabled to false. That'll make sure that at least when we're in our draw navigator, our swipe only brings up our draw navigator and not the previous screen. Also, this draw navigator should not get hidden below this tab navigator on the top. And this back button should change to a menu button. We also need to get tabs here at the bottom. So for that, what we'll do is inside our draw navigator, let's import in another stack navigator. Let's create that stack navigator here. Let's call it inner stack navigator. Be a new stack navigator. That'll point to our tab navigator. And the screen that we pointed to is our home screen tab navigator, which we are yet to create. So basically we have a main stack navigator, which has a draw navigator inside it, which again has a stack navigator inside it. The reason for having another stack navigator inside it is so that this header menu is local to that particular tab navigator and does not come above this draw navigator. So let's create this home screen tab navigator. So in our screens, we'll create home screen tab navigator dot JS. So let's just import the boilerplate code, call this home screen tab navigator. Let's import the tab navigator here. So we'll say import tab navigator from react navigation. And let's get rid of this class from here and say const home screen tab navigator is equal to new tab navigator. So let's say screen one points to a screen named screen one. Let's give it some navigation options so that it has a tab icon and a tab label. So we'll say tab bar label is equal to feed and tab bar icon is equal to Ionicons name MD compass size of 24. Close that out. Let's import Ionicons here. Let's say import Ionicons from React yeah, Native Vector Icons slash Ionicons. And similarly, we'll create screen two, which I'm just going to duplicate here. Which points to screen screen two. And also this should not be in quotes. So let's create these two screens. So inside our screens folder, let's create a tab navigator folder. And inside that, let's put in screen one.js, import some boilerplate code, which says screen one. And similarly, let's create screen two.js. Call it screen two. 
So here if you have a look, we have a folder called tab navigator inside which we have two screens, screen one and two. Let's import these screens in the home screen tab navigator. So let's say import screen one from tab navigator slash screen one and import screen two from tab navigator slash screen two. Let's import the home screen tab navigator inside our draw navigator. So here let's import home screen tab navigator from home screen tab navigator and also now our home screen instead of pointing directly to the home screen should point to this inner stack navigator which has the home screen tab navigator so here let's put in inner stack navigator save that out now if you click on the login button complete login we see we have our two tabs screen one and screen two however we're not seeing the icons here so let's just fix that in our home screen tab navigator, I realized I put these brackets wrong. Instead of curly brackets, there should be rounded brackets. Now if we save that, there we see our two icons are showing up. Now as you can see here, we have two headers over here. So let's get rid of the top header. Come to the app.js. Inside this, where we have the draw navigator, let's put in some navigation options here. So it's a header of none. Now we see we're only seeing one header at the top and if we slide from the left, we get the draw navigator. Now what we want to do is we want to display an icon here at the top, which we can click to open the draw navigator. For that, let's come to our home screen tab navigator. As of now, we're exporting the default home screen tab navigator directly. But instead of this, we'll put this into a class. So it's a export default class app tab navigator which extends component inside this put in our regular render method which has a return inside it and that return is going to pass in the home screen tab navigator instead of default exporting this let's change this to a constant and save this out and everything should still look the same next we'll come here and add some static navigation options with which we'll configure our header button so we'll say equal to pass in this navigation prop and then return header left pass in a view with a style padding of 10 and then we'll pass in an icon inside which will be ionicons name is going to be md menu on press will be navigation dot navigate drawer open and let's close that out as you can see i had already imported ionicons here at the top you can just do that and then we can test this out now we're seeing the icon it doesn't look the best let's increase this size and there we have an icon if we click on it we see our draw navigator opening up now that we're passing this home screen tab navigator as a view here its children will not be aware of the fact that it's a part of a navigation system and this dot props dot navigation will not be available to it. React navigation advises us to connect this to their router, but I just found that a little too complicated. What we can do instead is just use screen props. So what we'll do is we'll say screen props is equal to call our prop navigation and set that to this dot props dot navigation. Now, inside our screen, suppose we go to screen one, we can put in a button here. We'll say button title is equal to, let's call that logout. I will say on press is equal to, we can't use this dot props dot navigation, but we can use this dot props dot screen props dot navigation dot navigate, and then go to suppose the welcome screen. Now let's test this out. And there we can see we're back on the welcome screen. I know this has been a slightly long video, but I hope it has covered the main ways of using these navigators together. Though my recommendation will be that in a normal app, you usually need a stack navigator with either the draw navigator or the tab navigator. It's rare that you'd want to use both of them, but in case you do, this is how you can do it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this. Please like and subscribe.